Hello, I'm Charlene Stevens. Welcome to Council Update. Today we're going to talk about several presentations that were recently made to the City Council. Joining me is Council Member Dave Thede. Council Member Thede, at our June 6 meeting we had a number of presentations. The first one uh, to talk about is the Citizens Life Saving Award. Yeah, at fir and first thing I want to say is that uh, I just want to say happy summer to everybody as right now is the first day of summer as we're broadcasting this to you. But uh, so, yeah, on June 6th, we had a, a bunch of different awards. And uh, some of the different awards, there was uh, a Citizen Lifesaving Award. And this one, I think, is really neat because, you know, we, we definitely try to create a very strong community. And this is really the kind of the definition of community is, is people that will actually help their neighbors out and, and, and so forth and, and uh, you know, just make it a, a much nicer community to live in. And, and uh, Jim Huber actually... Uh, actually saved a woman that was pinned under a vehicle. Uh, he, uh, he went and had got his, his jack uh, you know, for the car and jacked it, uh, jacked it up and, and got her out of there quick. And, and uh, it turns out it, it saved, her, saved her life. And, and uh, so uh, I think that something like that is fantastic that somebody would actually just jump in and, and do that. I think he even began CPR. So. Uh, yeah, it was very nice, um, and again, we give a Citizens Life Saving Award. It's given to a member of the community that performs a life saving act without the presence of an unusual hazard or risk or injury to the community member. So it was yeah. nice to recognize him for that. And then we also had an award that's kind of near and dear to your heart. I know you always <laughs> enjoy these. Is we had an Eagle Scout presentation. In fact, it's uh, the same troop, Troop 286, that my boys uh, got their Eagle Scouts from. They were in it uh, a few years ago. But uh, so David Mueller uh, was actually recognized for getting his Eagle rank which is uh, is a fantastic thing because it shows uh, besides having a, a lot of stick to you know to actually get it done uh, you know they actually have to learn some different management skills and things like that uh, for their project and such and he actually uh, built an ADA uh, compliant Gaga Ball Arena at Hamlet Park, say which it? I must be getting old because I, I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm thinking Lady Gaga, but it certainly wasn't her. But uh, so, but Gaga Ball is like dodgeball. It is. It's very popular with the kids, and it's dodgeball, and it's played in a hexagon without walls. There you go. How about that? Uh, so, uh, if you get out to Hamlet Park, you definitely want to take a look at that, and maybe. Uh, Maybe play some Gaga ball. Maybe even play some Lady Gaga music while you're doing it. I don't know. <laughs> and then our next award was the Northern Lights Award. And our uh, communications department with the city received two awards um, from the Minnesota Association of Government Communicators. So let's talk about those. We had a first and a third place. Yeah, you know, and that's really neat, too, because anything that kind of recognizes some of the, the exceptional things that we're doing is, mm -hmm. is always good, uh, you know, for all of us and then especially for the folks that directly get the, the award, right? So uh, one of the first, the first, one we got the first place for was City Faces video series, and uh, that actually showcased employees in their mm -hmm. roles, uh, uh, you know, and, and with a peek at, I guess you could say, kind of the person behind, behind the, the uh, position or something like that, right? Right, and then we had a, another award for um, our My Cottage Grove video series. Yeah, and these are neat too because it kind of gives uh, people an idea of what's going around, going on around Cottage Grove, right? And uh, this is an example, a Girl Scout that taught co cooking skills to uh, grade schoolers and the Flamingo guy? Yes, we did a feature on the flamingo guy. So we kind of in these um, My Cottage oh, Grove videos. I know videos. what that is. That's right. That yep. was the, that's the flamingos that were stuck yep. in the ground out by feature, 61. Yeah, we feature citizens in Cottage oh, okay. Grove and some of the unique things that they are doing and uh, what makes, you know, as you talked about earlier, what makes Cottage Grove a unique community and an interesting and a, and a sense of community as well. Yeah, so that's neat. Okay, and then our last one to talk about is our 2017 Comprehensive Annual Financial Report. You know, and, and as usual, we came in in, in, uh, in glowing colors, uh, you know, we keeping our A++ rating. And uh, uh, so, you know, the city is, is doing a fantastic job, uh, you know, with all the, all the financials. And, and by keeping those high uh, ratings, we get great rates on, on bonds and things like that, which, which definitely allows us uh, to uh, buy more with less you know, uh, cost and things like that. So uh, it's just always uh, fantastic when we, we have those guys come in and, and, and tell us that we're doing so well. So You can watch the full video of the presentations during the June Council meeting by going online to swctc.org. Simply click on the Watch Meetings button. Thank you, Council Member Thede. You betcha.